Welcome to Copeland. I'm Dan. How close is too close for a neighbor? If you're living in the city, then it might feel very natural to have neighbors on both sides of you, to constantly see your neighbor or in the suburbs. But in the country, it's less common. It's all right to have space. It's okay to have a quarter of a mile or half a mile uh, between neighbors. And it feels like a big distance, but once you get to the country, it's really not. And there are certain things you deal with in the country that you don't deal with in the suburbs or the city that you want that extra space. So for example, if your neighbors play loud music or if they've got dogs that bark like crazy or hound dogs that howl, if they've got chickens or a rooster that crows at 4 a.m. in the morning, or if you have a rooster that crows at 4 a.m. in the morning, you don't necessarily want your neighbors to hear that. And you don't want to hear their animals. Cows, their sound cow carries for miles. It is really loud. So livestock, animals, the noise pollution. Uh, I think I mentioned listening to loud music. If you have a neighbor who's just super annoying, maybe they've got a loud car or a truck that just, or a generator. There's a million different ways to have noise pollution. And it's always nice to be far back from the road so you don't have to hear large trucks that are passing on the road. And you don't have to worry about kids running into the road and getting hit or dogs running into the road getting hit. Once you get back about a quarter of a mile and you can't see the road, dogs are much less likely to wander out to the road. I don't even think our Great Pyrenees has moved, has walked out to the road by herself yet. We've been here a month. And they're known to wander. So that's, this has been working out great. It's a big reason why we moved out here. You also want to have an S curve in your driveway if possible so that whoever's on the road, if it's neighbors walking, you don't want them to be able to see into your property. And that means having some trees, preferably some pine trees or something that doesn't lose their leaves in the winter. So this way you've got some visual privacy because neighbors for the most part are pretty good mannered and have good intentions. but if you're doing something they don't like if they don't like the way your house looks or they don't like the way you deal store junk in your backyard or they don't like whatever you're doing if they don't see it they're less likely to concern uh, themselves with it and if you like shooting or they like shooting that's going to be loud and if you want to put a shooting range up you need space you need a backstop and room, both for safety as well as noise control. So a lot of reasons to be back at least a quarter of a mile. That's a minimum for us. After about a quarter of a mile, it becomes pretty expensive to run utilities. I think uh, most utility companies, at least around here, will run it back a quarter of a mile and then it's $8 a foot after that. So it adds up quite, quite a lot. And also, if you want to buy the amount of acreage you need to have a half a mile on all sides of you, that's gonna be very expensive. So a quarter of a mile, as long as you've got some buffer on your side of the property and your neighbor has some buffer on their side of the property, it's very doable, it's affordable, all relatively speaking. In homesteading, you end up doing a lot of projects that may not look the greatest. You probably have pallets floating around and all sorts of wood stuff that you're in the midst of and animals that an animal yard or a garden that may look overgrown you you don't want the whole world to necessarily see all the projects you've got working on so i think it's just a, a good thing to have some space between neighbors i say a quarter of a mile your mileage may vary but if you're moving from the city or suburb to the country and you're looking at a spot where you can see a couple neighbors it would probably be wise to look for a better spot that has a little bit more privacy and seclusion. And they're hard to find, I know. Um, land is difficult to find, especially one that gives you privacy and that like wow factor. But it's worth it if you can get it. You might have the best neighbors in the world, but it's better to have a little bit of space. You can always drive over or take your side by side over and do it that way. But Try to get a little bit of space and privacy if you can so that you don't have any neighbors on top of you and you're not on top of them. 
I'm posting new videos on homesteading and off-grid living every day on 2ac3.com forward slash Copeland. Come check us out.